Life after Bruin, what do we all do now? Good afternoon and welcome to Lawyered Up. I'm Patrick McGee and I'm a Florida lawyer and I'm a former Miami-Dade uh, police officer with almost 20 years experience. I've, get, I've been getting a lot of questions from former clients and current clients and uh, people from social media asking me about the Bruin decision and what is the state of the law now, uh, particularly in the state of Florida. Can anybody just go out and carry a gun? No, that is not the case. You still have to abide by the state laws and the application and the licensing procedure that's in place presently, uh, regardless of the Bruin decision. Now, I think as time goes along, we'll see an increase in uh, lawsuits filed against the application process and some of the the hoops you have to jump through in the application process and some of the gun control measures that were enacted in the state of Florida after the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas case, such as number one, the red flag laws, the, uh, the age limits, the bump stock bans, all that stuff. Nationally, I think what you'll see is a ramped up effort of what we're seeing now and what we've seen since the Bruin decision came out. Uh, for the first time in decades, I mean, for decades and decades, we've been on defense when it came to our Second Amendment rights. The compromises of so-called reasonable gun laws always involved giving something up. We never got anything in return until the Bruin decision we got from the courts. And I think you're going to see uh, in the non-free states, such as California and New York, I think you're going to see massive amounts of lawsuits filed challenging just about everything and certainly challenging the new laws that they're ramming through now, the new gun control measures that each state is ramming through now. And I think that's going to benefit us all in the end. I think in the end, you'll see maybe maybe not this year, maybe it'll take a couple years, but I think you're going to see more of a push for national reciprocity. Because the way it is now, if you're if you're a citizen of say Florida like I am, although I can carry a gun in any state because I have a federal permit, but if you're a resident of Florida and you travel to California, you're basically denied your second amendment, right? Because California does not issue uh, firearms permits to non-residents or concealed weapons permits for non-residents. So I think you're going to see a lot of challenges along that line. That is one challenge I would like to see because even though I can carry a gun in California and in New York, when I go to California and I spend a lot of time out there, uh, usually several months a year in San Bernardino, whenever I go out there, I have to, you know, I can't carry my regular gun. I have to revert to a Gen 3 Glock and, you know, it, it's, it got to the point where before I would go out there, I would call my buddy who's a lawyer in California and say, okay, what's the update on the gun laws? Am I still in compliance here? So, I mean, California just has the weirdest gun laws ever, as does New York. I usually don't have a problem carrying in New York. I even fly into JFK and LaGuardia, and I, I've never had a problem. But it it's concerns me when I go to California. Um, I think you're going to see that move towards reciprocity. And there's a bill that's been filed by a Montana senator for national reciprocity. And I'll get into that in another video. But it's I think you're going to see a prolifer of offensive lawsuits now. You're, st you're starting to see them in California. You're starting to see them in New York. And I think you're going to see it in the other semi-free states, such as Florida, where we're challenging you know, provisions of our gun control legislations and provisions of the licensing process. I know in my cases I am filing uh, constitutional challenges based on Bruin in my cases, and hopefully we'll win those and can keep those moving along. But I think the future is finally looking up. I think we're going to have a hump to get over with the uh, the states going, you know, the non-free states going crazy with, with their gun control packages. And I think once we get over that, things will start looking up. So as far as it stands now, if you're a Florida resident, abide by the, uh, the laws that are in place now. We're working to change them. A lot of people are working to change them. And... Uh, I think you'll be surprised and you'll be pleasantly surprised as the future moves along. If you have any, if you have any questions or comments, please let, them, let me know down below in the comments. Feel free to always email me. My email is attached to the uh, comments below. If I missed anything in this video, make sure you let me. Most of all, if you're in Florida and you're aware of any constitutional challenges to pending state court cases, please let me know. I would like to look into them and follow them. As always, be safe out there. Remember, always, always lawyer up.